Hi, and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Nolly, and today we're looking at a Mapex Armory Series shell pack. The Armory Series kits sit right in the middle of Mapex's range. They feature maple and birch shells, as well as a lot of the innovations that you can find on the more expensive Saturn kits. New for 2018, Mapex has released a new series of finishes based around wood veneers and stains. This particular review model we're looking at is in the Desert Dune color, and that's over an olive wood veneer. In terms of sizes, this kit is the Studio E's Fast Shell Pack, which means it's got a 22 by 18 inch bass drum, 10 by 7 and 12 by 8 inch rack toms, 14 by 12 and 16 by 14 inch floor toms, as well as the included 14 by 5.5 inch Tomahawk steel snare drum. The RRP for this shell pack is £959, but we've seen it selling at various online retailers for close to £700. Not included in this review is the Armoury Series hardware pack, which can be bought for an extra £300 or so. With the great reputation that Armoury drums have amassed over the last few years, we're really looking forward to putting this kit to the test. So let's dig in and listen to a few more sound examples before coming back for some discussion afterwards. Our first impressions when unboxing this kit was that it looks like a way more expensive set of drums than it really is. The wood veneer finish is extremely attractive and caught our eyes straight away, and we all commented on just how much drums you seem to be getting for your money here. The only thing giving away that this isn't a premium level kit is those quite visible diagonal seams on the outside of the shells, but once you get the drum kit set up, they're all facing inward, so there's no way anyone in the audience would see that. The bold modern Mapex logos set against the bright chrome hardware and the satin wood finish of the shells makes for a kit with a striking visual presence that would look at home on stages of any size. As stock, this shell pack comes with Chinese-made 
Remo UT series heads. On the Toms, we've got something similar to a coated ambassador over clear ambassador setup, so that's single ply on both sides, where the bass drum has a power stroke style setup. The snare does come with a full fat US made coated ambassador on the batter side, though the snare side reverts to the Chinese made UT series again. Playing this kit, we were really impressed with the tones. Starting with the bass drum, it's a lovely full fat bass drum sound, but there's loads of satisfying attack there too without it being clicky sounding. It seemed to respond well at all dynamic levels without choking on the hard hits, delivering a lovely resonance at all volume levels. The rack toms were equally a joy to hear too. They've got a lovely tone to them. They're full with a great amount of note and very minimal overtones there. Mapex's excellent sonically mounting system for the rack toms is super heavy duty, and I think that's got a lot to do with the way that the drums are able to maintain such a strong fundamental tone when mounted. Moving on to the floor toms, they had a great punch to them when you laid into them with a short voice but a full tone. We did feel that perhaps at softer volume levels they didn't have as much tone as we'd have liked. However, we do feel that if you upgraded to premium double ply heads on the batter sides, you'd be able to get a fuller sound at all volume levels. The Tomahawk snare has a lot of the character you'd expect from a steel drum. It's incredibly loud and attacky. It's a fairly raucous sounding drum with a lot of overtones to it, but at the same time, very satisfying and poppy to play. It could probably benefit from a touch of dampening to reduce those overtones and control the sound a little bit, or even moving to a thicker or more controlled batter head in order to get the best out of it. As part of the shell pack, we think that this snare is a great inclusion. It's not the most subtle sounding drum, so it's not going to be suitable in every musical situation, but it's definitely worth hanging on to if you want a drum that's going to cut through the mix easily. Sonically, we feel like the Armoury kit would be suitable for pretty much any musical style and situation. It's interesting to see that Mapex seem to be playing a best of both worlds approach to the construction of this kit, combining the classic choices of maple and birch in the same shells, and even their sonically bearing edges being a combination of a more vintage style round over on the outside and a sharper inside edge cut. And we think the end result is a very versatile and great sounding drum kit. The build quality, especially at this price point, is really decent. The shells are obviously very round and have great bearing edges because I found that tuning was a breeze with these drums. Looking inside the shells, it's definitely not the flashiest wood we've ever seen, but it certainly seems to be very good quality, and running your fingers around the shells, everything feels lovely and smooth. In terms of the included hardware, everything is serviceable and reasonably heavy duty. As I mentioned already, we really love the Tom mounts. The bass drum spurs aren't the heaviest duty we've seen, but we do like the inclusion of the angle markings so that you can get them set up the same every time. This seems to be something they've brought down from the Saturn range. Compared to the rest of the kit, we didn't feel like the snare drum was particularly easy to tune. But once we did get it settled into a nice even tuning, it held it for the rest of the session with no issues whatsoever. We feel like Mapex has done an amazing job at getting such an attractive looking and sounding kit out at this price point. In fact, if anything compared to the Saturn kit that we reviewed recently, we feel like this kit compares favourably, especially considering it comes in at only a little bit more than half the price. While the price point indicates an intermediate level kit, there's absolutely no reason why professionals shouldn't consider this kit because we feel like it really does perform at a world-class level both in terms of live and studio uses. All in all, we feel like this is a great value for money kit with a look and sound that punches way above its price point. But why don't you let us know what you think? Leave us a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time at Drummer's Review.